Welcome to our Taze service. We come together tonight in God's presence for collective contemplation and worship. We will hear prayers and scripture. We will enjoy silence and song and the light from the candles, and we will meditate before the cross. We invite you to quiet your mind, let the cares of your day fall behind, and allow yourself to be renewed and inspired by communion with the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us allow a moment for silent prayer. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversaries who may happen to the body, all adversities that may happen to the body, and from all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns, with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
reading from the Psalms. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out in, unto all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, a sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please read with me the Lord's Prayer as printed. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Dear God, we come before you in our own brokenness, in need of your grace and favour. We trust in the promise you have made to hear our prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus. Let us also pray for wisdom, courage and strength for all your followers especially those in leadership of your church. Set their hearts on you alone. 
Further, we pray for the leaders of the nations, that they protect and provide for their people and work for peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, we pray for those who struggle with disappointments, with financial insecurities, with grief over lost loved ones or lost dreams. May we also pray for relief of pain for those whose bodies and hearts ache. May we ask for healing for all who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Dear Jesus, we pray for those who have died and now rest in your eternal embrace. Comfort the loved ones who mourn their loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All this we ask, O Lord, in Jesus' name, the one who lived and moved among us in our broken world and who loves us still. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Thank you for being a part of our Teze worship this evening. We hope you found this time together of blessing to enrich the rest of your week. Our next service will be Wednesday, March 17th. Please invite others to join us. Let us pray together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God.